Hey guys, just wanted to give you one more update. Uh, I haven't shown you much with the final section, the laser EPG itself. I've slowly been gathering parts um, this whole time and uh, as I get them I throw them together. So I wanted to show you how that's coming. So what I have is a one foot glass tube that is, let's see, I think it's one centimeter wide and that's on the outside and eight millimeter uh, inside diameter so what I did was I cut off a little rubber tube and stuck it on the end there so that I could do this I stuck that rubber tube in the chuck of a drill and wound my copper wire that way um, made sure this first layer was nice and tight and I believe that gas in combination with this, I'm sorry, gas, the glass in combination with this nice tight uh, copper wire is going to make a really nice reflective surface on the inside. There is the fully wound section. Got some long leads left off there for whatever. And then uh, it left me some tabs on each side just a little tip so that I can I don't know what I'm gonna put on there yet but maybe a T some kind of T uh, pipe so that I could pump the gas in there and some kind of shutoff valve that will still allow me to have a little a port for the light to get in over here uh, something else I found pulled this out of the garage recently I thought I threw this away a long time ago I got this ages ago, probably five to ten years ago, um, in hopes that I would do laser, I'm sorry, laser, um, HHO, and just never got around to it. And now, it's back out. Um, you may remember that I wanted to pulse at one million times per second. Well, this is able to do that. And that's pretty exciting. Although, uh, after looking up lasing, I may want to recalibrate my pulse. I've <laughs> been doing a lot of uh, math lately on what the pulse needs to be and it's very interesting. I think I'm going to have to apply that to the laser EPG. Um, so I wanted to show you this. I found a cheap um, 10 watt LED and before I was so focused on the the name of this laser EPG that I was only looking for lasers well it finally dawned on me at some point that lasers that Stan was talking about were not only uh, laser beam lasers but LEDs so um, here is a 10 watt LED and it was five to seven bucks on eBay and you can see the little heat, heat sink there for it and what I've done here is I hooked it up to the controller uh, mechanism for the flexible LEDs that I have that you saw in the last couple videos and it does the same thing this is uh, it has three red three green and three blue so it will go through all the same functions that the uh, strip does that's pretty cool so this thing is so bright it's not even funny <laughs> Um, so you can do the same thing, it mixes the colors, so you can choose any uh, combination of colors that you want, or you can select just red, green, blue, do your flash, turn them all on, it looks kind of white, or the uh, fade through each color, here's the fade, the other one was just walking through each color. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Also, um, well, I'm sorry, here, here it is. <laughs> and uh, here's that half mirror, or 50% mirror. I don't know if you can see through that. Yeah, with those tiles in the back. You can see through there. So, that will be cut and designed a little better than this giant rectangle. And stuck right here. The LED will be on the other side of that. 
right there, and then the heat sink. And I'll probably have some kind of inlet valve on both sides and shut off valves and all that good stuff. On well, this side has the 100% mirror. Same thing, it'll be cut so that it looks nicer and it's out of the way. So, to reiterate the idea, um, the magnetic gas will be inside here, contained and pressurized. I guess I can't pressurize it too much because it's glass, but as much as I can get in there, I guess. And that laser, the uh, LED, goodness, it sounded like a car wreck outside, <laughs> um, will be flashing over here. And with each flash, the magnetic gas will absorb the energy, produce a higher um, magnetic field, and the pickup coil will be picking that up. And then when the light shuts off during the flash, it will collapse and we'll repeat that process over and over and hopefully gain lots of energy very cheaply. The only way, the only input will be to run this LED. And I think that runs on uh, nine, a nine volt battery. I don't need all this setup. I don't need to be plugged into the wall. It'll run on a nine volt battery. This is just to test it. So anyway, I wanted to show you that I have been working on it and I'm prepare, preparing for putting the gas inside there. So anyway, that's it for now and I'll update you when uh, we get further on the magnet, the uh, magnetizing chamber. Alright guys, take care.